What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Benjamin, a.k.a. Tell Card Collector. Today is Sunday, November 3rd, 2019. This is my weekend mail recap. Sorry I didn't do a midweek mail recap, but, you know, I have a lot of stuff going on, and I still got a lot of stuff going on in my life. Nothing bad, but just been, you know, busy, taking care of, you know, real-life business. So, you know, like I said, this is a hobby for me. I'm not making any money off this, so this comes secondary to real-life business. Um, that being said, I got, I got some bunch of cool stuff coming this week, so without further ado, I'll show you what I got. First, got some books here, you know, do some traveling here. So this is Sicily and Italy, top 10 spots to go to. Here's another book on Sicily. And also, the name, Mr. Veggie Man, this fits perfectly with me. To buy or not to buy organic, buy organic foods. Because I'm big on health and nutrition and everything, so I'm definitely going to check this out. And also, this is another book I got, and it's for free. This is um, Murder Union Station. This is... Based on Union Station, Washington, D.C., my hometown. Whenever I go through D.C. and you know, on a Greyhound or Amtrak, I always go through Union Station. So, you know, just probably bring up a lot of memories. I mean, this is a, a novel. This is a fictitious book, but, you know, this is an interesting book to read about. And I'll put this aside. Also got a DVD. Um, I like some of his movies. This is Clint Eastwood, The Honky Tonk Man. This thinks about, like, a fictitious story about him being... What is this about? Like an up and coming country western singer or whatever. So it seems that I'll check it out. If I don't like this, I can sell this or trade this, but I'll check this out because Clint Eastwood's a good actor. Regardless of some of his politics, I do like his acting. Now let's go to the cards I got. First this is actually a failure. I said this to Brett Favre. Everybody was getting them back TCM, but the address, the P.O. box dried up, so I got this in the mail. Return to sender. I know Gary Carr, head of 23, found a private address, so I guess we'll see how that comes up, and, you know, we'll figure out what the private address is, and we'll try it again. Now, the next thing, a few things we're going to do, <coughs> I'm going to be real transparent about what I did here, so I don't want no misunderstanding or confusion. I got two from NASCAR Hall of Famer, Kelly Yarbrough. Now, when I say I'm going to be transparent, he did personalize these, or move the personalization, so, you know, this thing, I mean, it's hard to see on camera, but I did remove it. Um, this is going to pass PSA because I, like, tamper, I removed the personalization, but I'm, like I said, I'm being transparent. I'm not, I mean, if anybody wants to buy or sell one of these, I'm letting you know there was personalization on here, so I'm not trying to scam or do anything to anybody. Plus, you know, this is my stuff anyway. If I don't like personalization, I have every right to remove it, so that's that. These wasn't personalized, but this guy was so cool. I got Trace and Landon. I think he's a general manager of the New Orleans Pelicans. He signed a whole bunch of cars for me, yeah. He just went balls to the wall. I mean, I really appreciate him doing that. I mean, I'm not a Duke fan, but I got much love to him for doing this as a rookie card. I think most of these were, a lot of these were rookie cards, so I definitely appreciate him doing that. This is all in my binder, my autograph binder. And speaking of personalizations, now I have no idea why this guy personalized. I did remove the personalization. This is K. McNow. Um, a bum quarterback in the NFL in like the late 90s, early 2000s. He did literally nothing with his career, and he going to personalize it. I mean, yeah, you sign, but dude, don't personalize my shit unless I ask you, especially you're a bum quarterback. So some of these, well, some of these kind of, kind of smudge when I move the personalization, but I'm not going to have a personalization with a bum quarterback in my car collection. I just refuse. And this one right here, I guess it was Dupe didn't sign, but, you know, whatever. Now, this one wasn't personalized. This is Mike Stanton. I mean, it's a normal autograph, but check it out. This one I sent it. October 24th of 2016. It's 19. I appreciate him signing it. It came three years after the fact, but bad lady never. So, the moral story never gave him TTM. This one was not TTM. This was an eBay pickup. Brian Mitchell. I bought this because I don't see him doing a bunch of TTM. <coughs> Excuse me. I got um, one that I already bought served by PSA. So, hopefully, I'm going to roll the dice, send this in the car cutter, and, and do a PSA sub with him. And hopefully, this will come back. Time's going by kind of fast. I got to run through this. I got. Roger Willie wasn't personalized. He signed two or two. I'm gonna send one to PSA, the other one keep for the um, collection. Well both these stand collection, of course. This is Hall of Famer Bill Barber. I think I might have I had this car, but I'll probably still send it to PSA anyway, I might flip it. It's Jeffrey Bodine. I think he's in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. This wasn't personalized either. So he was nice enough to sign for, so I appreciate him doing that. And for my house and trophy collection. I got John Calipari, or not Calipari, um, Capaletti. He's real nice. If you collect high from trophy autographs, you got to hit this guy up. 
And this one might see some future PSA video. And this one was the sickest TTM. I uh, got this is again this will literally be a franchise car for me. This was Hall of Fame Bob Cousy personalized up here, but I was able to move that and you would never know it was it was personalized as I told. This is just plain sick and I've seen he's 95 years old, he'll do one per so don't send him 10 cards, don't do one, and he will personalize it. So my advice, you want to hit him up, send something like this to him. If you don't mind the personalization, keep it. But if you have a problem with it, you can just easily hike the personalization off. And this one might pass PSA because this is just, just that sick and I've seen. I just love this card. This is a franchise card. And also we've got a couple eBay pickups. Got some PSA cards. Got Michael Jordan, 8.59 out deck MVP. And I got one of my favorite of all players. Love him, hate him, I don't give a fuck. He's one of my favorites. Mr. Colin Kaepernick. And another favorite of mine. Number 32, OJ Simpson. And one more thing for Colin. I got a t-shirt of it. I ordered two. This other one was coming out. This is him sitting next to Rosa Parks, you know, protesting on racism and inequality. And I mean, I just don't get how some of y'all have a problem. Well, I know why. I mean. Some of y'all are just closeted races. Y'all aren't mad enough to admit it, but I know the game. I mean, I bet you if y'all had been around back in the days when Rosa Parks was pro um, protesting racism, y'all would have said the same dumb shit about Cap that y'all said about Rosa Parks. It was all good, but, like, so I'm not going to turn this political. I mean, if you don't like Colin Cap, that's your prerogative not to. I mean, I like him, so that's my prerogative to do so. But other than that, um, I got to run um. Now, as far as this week goes, up, I may or may not go to the San Antonio Spurs, get some autographs. Like I said, I got a bunch of stuff going this week, and I haven't even started getting my cars together for that. I mean, I, I want to do NBA graphing, but I just haven't, you know, been able to get my stuff ready for that, and I haven't got any new cards yet, so that's kind of up in the air. And I got some stuff I'm going to send TTM as well, but I just haven't had a chance to write my stuff off of that. So I'm still in the game, but I just, like I said, real, real life stuff takes precedent over a hobby. But yeah, that's it for the week on run. You know, enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a safe and successful, productive week at work or school, whatever you do during the week. But this is your boy, Mr. Vegeman, aka Tail Car Collector. I'm out of here.